fast as chemical companies are introducing new herbicides, weeds are finding new ways to survive them. And it may not be a real problem for a homeowner who can pull a weed from a flower bed, but it is a problem if you're a farmer with thousands of acres of crops. So WCIA3's ag reporter Stu Ellis has more in this morning's report from the farm. Dicamba may be losing its ability to control summer emerging weeds, such as water hemp. Illinois weed scientist Aaron Hager has found patches of water hemp in McLean and Champaign counties that have developed resistance. The difference on the resistant ones is that they do recover. And if you give them sufficient time, they will flower, they will reproduce, they will produce seed by the end of their life cycle. And so they actually were able to do crosses in the greenhouse, do some calculations of inheritance. And so long story short, at the end of the day, I believe what our, what our work has shown is we can demonstrate somewhere between a five and tenfold level of dicamba resistance now in this population. So it's here. A uh, colleague in Tennessee, Dr. Larry Steckel, is confirming that he's found dicamba-resistant water hemp. I believe he said in some of the middle counties in Tennessee as well, as well as he's also contending with uh, dicamba-resistant palmer amaranth in the western portion of Tennessee. So what can a farmer do? The key point is we, d we really don't know what the origin of this evolved metabolic resistance is, and if we don't know the origin, to be able to say that we have a very sound, data-driven recommendation for his management would be a bit of a stretch of the imagination. So at least from a chemical standpoint, if we don't know what caused it, it makes it a little difficult to try to recommend something in terms of herbicide program because when you deal in metabolic resistance, you really have no predictability. You don't know what still works and what doesn't work unless you make an application and observe the outcome. Grandpa may have an old weed hook you can borrow. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA 3, your local news leader.